this Russia Cray contents. This moisturizer helps my skin to lessen the dryness and makes the concealer or the foundation easier to blend. Today I'm not going to use foundation because I don't have any of it. I'm just going to use this concealer to cover all the hyperpigmentation. I'm just gonna put this on the specific area of my hyperpigmentation. I'm going to use a small fluffy brush to blend it all over my face. What I love about the formula of this product is that even if I put a quite small amount of it, I can still blend it all over my face. Using a small brush, it is easier for you to blend and actually lessen the use of the product. powder to cover all the unwanted shears or lines on my face. I don't put this on my contour side because I don't want it to have an ashy texture. For the contour, it is okay to use an eyeshadow palette as long as you are careful on application because the eyeshadow pigment are more intense than the usual contour. I won't blend it much because I'll be using bronzer afterwards to mix it together. This bronzer to intensify my contour. These steps are really important for me because I have a fluffy base. Let's go back to the palette and do my job. Just imagine that you're doing an artificial shadow to make your jaw appear. Next is I am going to do my nose contour. Starting from the nose bridge down to the tip of the nose. And I will do this the same as how I contour my face. If you have a fluffy nose like me, you might need to try this. I'll be using a concealer to highlight my nose bridge and lessen the whiteness of my nose. I'm gonna blend it with my finger to make it look natural. And this is how I lessen the whiteness of my nose. this powder as a base for our next step and for the highlighter I am also going to use an eyeshadow palette from Morphe our goal for this step is for us to have a glass skin moment 
next is I'm just gonna fill my natural brows with black and shadow because as you can see my hair are really dark I'm just going to make it straight to make my look less intimidating I'm just going to make it longer and do the same step into the other side Using this pulley to clean the excess products And OG mascara as substitute to brow gel or brow soap and last step for my eyebrows is concealer to make your desired shape emphasized. I always start from the bottom because it is easier for me to control the shape. And this is also a tip if you want your look to look symmetrical. As you can see, this is how I shape my natural eyebrows. For the next step, I am using this concealer as a base for our eyeshadow. I am going to show you how I did this look into the other eye. First, let's put the tape directly to the tail of your eyebrow. And use a black eyeshadow as an eyeliner. To make it look natural, mark the tail of your eyebrow as where your eyeliner ends. And blend it with a brown eyeshadow. And I am just going to repeat the same steps. And a light brown eyeshadow as I do my natural crease. This time I am going to use a highlighter because as you can see, I've used a lot of mattes. And it actually helped my eye to stand out even more. And now I am going to remove this tape. Before we proceed on the falsies, I am going to use this black eyeshadow to make my eyes look smaller. I just cut my falsies into half and glue it where my eyeliner starts. Second to the last is blush. I just put it into the near skin to the side and a little bit on nose. I'm just gonna retouch my face with this powder because this process takes a lot of time and my face are getting oily. I also do the exact same step before I do the last step, which is my lips. This is super staying crayon in the shade Lead the Way. I started to outline the lower lip and next is the upper. I really love the shade because it matches my natural lip color. Next is I'm gonna clean the sides, same as what I did on my eyebrows. And for the final touch is Super Stay Matte Ink in the shade Cidex Dress. I really really love the formula of this product, it feels like it is a Perfect dope for Kelly Lip Kit. And we're done. I hope you like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you in my next one. Bye!